<laughs> Traditionally, children have been the center of attention in Myanmar society. And education has long been a priority for Myanmar families. The net enrollment rate in primary education cycle is relatively high, both for girls and boys. However, the primary completion rate still remains low, up to around 50%. Children from remote areas, ethnic nationalities, socio-economically poor families, disabled, and HIV-affected children have limited access to primary education. Even some enrolled children drop out during the primary schooling to supplement their parents' income. Many teachers do not apply. Child-centered approach as the current examination system focuses on memorization. Moreover, inadequate school facilities and poor learning environment also do not support effective teaching and learning. The Ministry of Education and other partners in collaboration with UNICEF have been helping children, families and communities to improve access to and quality of education by making them realize their children's right to education and development. However, only a small proportion of three to five years old children have access to holistic, early childhood development opportunities through systematic approach. Since the priority of most parents is to meet the basic needs of families, children are left in the care of younger siblings with limited time left for parental care. Parents who are interested in early childhood development prefer school readiness instead of holistic development. Some do not send their children to ECD centers because they don't have time or money. Consequently, they are not able to fulfill the obligations to ensure children's right to develop at their fullest potential. In collaboration with partners, UNICEF has been able to establish ECD facilities for children three to five years old, mostly in rural and hard to reach areas, and only a few mother circles in poor urban areas. ECD services in some rural areas include supplementary feeding for children under three years old from poorest families. By having opportunities for holistic development, children especially from ethnic families are able to adapt into school because they have already developed essential skills like problem solving, communication and social skills. In Myanmar, primary education enrollment for children starts at the age of five. They have to learn from grades one to five to complete the primary education. Completion of basic education by all citizens and improvement of quality basic education are two major goals of Myanmar Education for National Action Plan. The key strategy to achieve these two goals is the child-friendly schools. But, what is a child-friendly school and what is needed to make all schools in Myanmar child-friendly? The five characteristics of child-friendly schools are inclusive, all school-aged children regardless of background and 
ability have equal access to school, and have equal opportunity of learning, to complete primary education. Effective All children can effectively apply the knowledge and skill, their daily life from, what they have learned in school. Healthy, safe and protective. Children have safe and protective school environment that benefits healthy habits for them to be physically and mentally healthy. Gender. Enabling equal access to learning process which responds to gender's need. Participation. Teachers, children, parents and community actively participate in implementing school development works. These all five dimensions are promoting the best interest of the child. The claim your job, Simanja dies general, BBB, General Bibiare, Anne Jedi, Nashibare, Oma, the Jama, Quejare Gizaru, Yane Sumare Gizaru, Dario General, Chain Jubido, the Nanet Allah General, Buzu Putanga, the Lumio Chin, the people to it. Now Luaja, the Shida Leo General. However, certain issues such as violence, physical punishment, bullying, Abuse and neglect still persist as common practices in many schools. CFS, indeed part of Quality Basic Education Program, is currently covering 25 townships in different states and regions. Most of the child-friendly schools are geographically situated in ethnic areas. The medium of instruction in those schools is Myanmar language, making ethnic children difficult to learn. Therefore, UNICEF has supported the Ministry of Education to promote equitable learning opportunity of these children by implementing a pilot project called Language Enrichment Program in three townships of Kachin, Eastern Shan and Mon states. This is an intense Myanmar language program, supplementing the current textbooks of Myanmar language to increase the competency of students in four language skills which are listening, speaking, reading and writing. As an element of quality education, life skills is also integrated as a separate core curriculum at primary level and core curriculum and compulsory at secondary level, including pre-service teachers training. Life skills education strengthens educational processes by using participatory and gender sensitive teaching and learning methods. Although primary enrollment rate is quite high in Myanmar, completion rate and dropout of primary education is still a challenge. Therefore, extended continuous education and learning program emerged as a result of the dire need for access to non-formal education services for thousands of out-of-school children who are at risk of and most vulnerable to HIV, AIDS epidemic substance abuse and exploitation. It is a community-based project designed to build the institutional and programmatic capacity of selected NGOs in non-formal education and to increase access to life skills based education for the most vulnerable children in Myanmar, particularly the out of school and working children, aged 10 to 17 years old. The project has been implemented by five local NGOs, whose capacity was built regularly by UNICEF, jointly with Department of Educational Planning and Training. For children aged 10 to 14, who have never been enrolled or dropped out, from the formal education system are also provided with a second chance for primary education through non-formal primary education program. It is a two-year equivalency program. Level 1 is equivalent to lower primary level and level 2 to upper primary level. The subjects taught are Myanmar, English, Mathematics and General Studies.
About 3,370 students are attending NFPE classes in 134 communities in 20 townships. Progress has been made in Myanmar education in Devon children from different backgrounds and hard to reach areas have benefited by the basic education services. Yet there are still gaps and challenges to fully realize children's rights to education.